Hey everybody, just a quick review of a $46 impulse buy I did today. So I see you went to the shit store to buy another bag of shit. No, I went to the fossil outlet and picked up a new fossil watch. That is what I just said. Come on Watchbot, this is actually not a bad watch. Whatever. Anyhow, let's just get on with the review. Quick wristwatch check. Come on, focus you piece of crap. Today I'm wearing my other fossil, the Agent Watch. Follow the link to see my review on it. So let's open a bag. As usual, a fossil tin. Be bold, look sharp, stay classy. Just what I needed, a motivational tin. About time. So we get no warranty card, but a card telling us where to download the warranty information and instructions. All right. The other side has handling information, which is all pretty much common sense if you have ever owned a watch of any type. So here it is. It's a nice brushed silver and black rectangular watch. As you can see, the top half of the watch is brushed in a sort of satin finish. Here's the hang tag, Japanese movement, and the strap made in China. Hold on, let me get this sticker off the back. Ah, that was satisfying. The bottom half and back of the watch are polished. There's a diamond shaped logo on the crown, which matches the one that's on the dial at six o'clock. It's got a signed buckle, and the leather band is surprisingly very thick and nice with some vintage style stitching. The watch is very easy to set and hacks when the crown is pulled. And the day wheel can be set to English or Spanish. There is a resemblance between this watch and one of my vintage 70s Seiko 4004 quartz watches. Both are rectangular and somewhat minimalist. Unfortunately, the crown and stem on my Seiko are loose, so it's currently in my needs repair pile. If someone knows how much it costs to reattach a crown and stem for a watch, let me know in the comments and I'll determine if it's worth doing. Anyhow, here's the loom shot. Yeah, it's no dive watch loom, but I've seen much worse. Here's the wrist shot. It's a good looking watch for just about any sized wrist. Watchbot, can I have the specs for this watch? The watch is 38 millimeters wide and takes a 22 millimeter watch band. Thanks, Watchbot. This fossil watch comes in a variety of colors and styles, but the only other one that interested me was the blue one with the brown strap. 
but not paying 115 or 80 dollars for it but i'd consider it if i paid less than 50 bucks for it like this watch that's all i have time for this week if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching <laughs>